And uh, solar thermal systems are designed to take the the um, energy from the sun converted into water heating okay. um, applications. In this instance, we were um, the design and uh, we did the feasibility study for a, a large water heating system that was installed in a commercial building in Springfield. It consisted of 98 collectors. And this, uh, um, the way these systems work, we'll just describe how they work. You basically have um, a set of collectors on the roof of a building or it could be on a ground-mounted uh, uh, application. And there's a heat transfer fluid, which is typically water, or a mixture of water and propylene glycol, that circulates through these collectors. So the cold water comes in, goes through the collectors, and the hot water comes out. And that heat is transferred to a storage tank, or a set of storage tanks, depending on the large uh, size of the load in the system. And those tanks are the water in them are basically heated and then are fed right in line as cold water would normally be to to a, a conventional water heating system. Mm -hmm. So in the event that the tanks are hot enough that the water a temperature that the the um, water heater is set at um, is met, then the actual water heater never kicks on. It just passes the the uh, hot water through to the loads, which could be kitchens, bathrooms, sinks, fitness centers, a lot of, uh, or p could be processed preheating. Which, which in a commercial system like that, it's, it could be all that. It could be all that, yes. So it's, um, and again, it, ordinarily you'd be burning um, uh, fuel that mm -hmm. would uh, create greenhouse gases, and um, uh, and the ability to use solar to do this creates a, a nice um, uh, payback on the environmental side and also on the, um, uh, the cost side and um, can really be used to meet a lot of needs. Solar thermal are very efficient collectors. They're 50 to 55 percent efficient okay. compared to PV which is a good bit lower. It's about 15 to 17 percent efficient. And please, could you elaborate on the uh, the system benefits for nine, nine, you said 96 collectors? Well, for this one in particular, you know, it, it was the equivalent um, annually of burning 32 tons of coal. So that oh. uh, gives you a sense for, for how much um, these types of systems can reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions.